All right, y'all, I know what this looks like, but I'm not going to a church that's actually a cigar lounge called Grand Cigars, brand new. Me and a friend of mine, we meeting up here to check it out. They're gonna give us a tour. It's a new spot, founded on Instagram, and uh, Beam got me into smoking cigars. So, and I've been, I've been watching YouTube videos on it too. So I'm starting to get more informed on it. You feel me? So about to see what this is about, man. It looks dope from the outside. Appreciate you setting this up, bro. Yep. Original floors. Yeah. Alright guys, I got a couple packages in. You guys know how much I like packages. Oh, we're gonna check out what I got. Hold on. This is a package from the boys at Ghost Fit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Got black, gray, got navy. These tank tops are stringers. Let me see. Hey, this gonna be perfect. Hey, I'm gonna try it on. I ain't never had a stringer before, but it's gonna be nice because I'm going to Dominican Republic at the end of this month. This is quality right here. The material, this is quality right here. I wish y'all could feel this. So nice. Y'all go check out my boys over at GhostFit, ghostfitapparel.com. I'll put their Instagram in the link below. They're always showing love, always sending your boy some really nice gear. I love it. Oh, and if you didn't know, the collab that we did with the jumpsuit that we have, that was a collab with GhostFit. So if you didn't know, they actually made that for us. So if you have the 245 joggers and hoodie and you like the quality, that's just a sample of what GhostFit offers. All right, and then we got one more unboxing from my brother, y'all know the logo, my brother Josh OP. Let's check out what he sent me. Damn, this thing's sealed. Yo, Josh, I like this custom packaging, bro. This is nice. I'm spending money on your custom packaging. All right, so we got his new comb. Ah, we got black and we got white. Yo, I'm not gonna cap. This feels so good. The material, I'm only using his combs from now on, that's it. Feels really, really nice. Josh, you killed it with these combs, bro. Killed it, wow, wow, feels really nice. Guys, go support Josh OP, a barber with his own product. I don't know if they're out yet, I gotta sync with him, but if they're out, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so y'all can check these out, because these are some nice combs. The material has a nice little texture to it, you know what I mean? Very, very nice, very nice. All right guys, so now that we're done with this unboxing, I definitely wanted to take this moment to tell you guys a little backstory about this YouTube short documentary that was made about my story. Pre-pandemic, I was supposed to go to an event that YouTube was putting together to give an award to the CEO of YouTube. And they chose me and three other influencers that have been able to build a business with the help of the platform YouTube. Cause they're trying to highlight how YouTube can help small business owners and give people an opportunity to grow within their community and globally. So they invited me to come out to this event. I was supposed to speak there and I was gonna have dinner, me and the three other creators with the CEO. I was super excited about the event, man. And it got canceled because of the pandemic. So a few months ago, they reached out to me and you know, when they first reached out, I was like, bro, this gotta be a scam, this gotta be fake. Like why would YouTube hit up somebody with 300 some thousand subscribers when they got thousands of creators with millions of subscribers. But I think that they liked the story, the fact that I'm a barber, you know, doing this, building a business, that type of thing. That's what they liked about it. Like, damn, it's a barber. He's making videos on YouTube, helping other barbers. And I think the story was more important than how many followers you had, right? Talking to them, they wanted to do a short documentary on my story. And uh, we worked last few months on this with a guy named Will, Will Productions. I'll put a link to, to Will's Instagram the description below but him and a few other people you know we sat for like hours filming the interview part it was a lot that was cut out because it was like a couple hours worth of footage that was cut down to three minutes but i think they did a great job highlighting my story and so i wanted to kind of watch it real quick and um react to it because i think it's a big deal it's one of the bigger accomplishments 
that uh, you know has happened in my career having a YouTube for five six years making enough noise to where YouTube the platform itself took notice I think that's a big deal not just for me but for the barber community so let's check out the video all right so this is the video it is on YouTube's channel so YouTube doesn't get a lot of traction for whatever reason like the videos just don't get a lot of views but if you go to videos you can see there's your boy 31 million subscribers less than 10,000 views still super dope you know a whole bunch of people that would have never even knew who i was so i'm definitely appreciative of the opportunity yeah being able to tell people you know about this is, is dope so uh let's watch it it's three minutes long in 2011 tampa bay was destroyed we had not gotten over the recession yet you know what's crazy i don't know why they didn't use the footage but i actually went and showed my home where i grew up and stuff it was rough. I wonder why they didn't use that footage. My dad lost his business. My mother my pops, lost her job. My I was working at a fast food restaurant and my girlfriend was pregnant. I wife, wanted to focus my wife on now. basketball and school, but I had to focus on how to survive. So I had to come out with a plan B. <laughs> when the recession hit, never the one thing about barbering that stood out to me is that even though they weren't able to come up with the money for their electricity bill, people could still afford a $10 haircut. It was that one thing that made you feel better. After two years of going to barber school, I opened up my first barbershop. We did, I think, five haircuts the entire week, and I thought I made a huge mistake. But in our barbershop, I was the guy trying to help everyone, trying to teach everyone. And my business partners would always tell me, we gotta get this on a YouTube channel to get your reach further than just these four walls and get the word out about our business. I didn't really listen to them in the beginning, but I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to, to pay my bills. So one day I cracked out my wife's camera and cracked I recorded open. me giving my brother-in-law a haircut. I like to go at all angles. That video took off. I realized there was a huge community that was just about barbering as I was. We kept uploading on YouTube. YouTube, what is going on, guys? And I started realizing our subscribers started becoming our clients within a couple months. We were doing seven to 800 clients a week. I was that was like, Whoa. at that location, not The comment the sections was, Chris, come up with your own product. We'll support it. Yeah, I remember, man. I was asking them, what product should I come out with? They tell me shave gel. I named it Tune 45 after a famous bar. Guys, we were making that shave gel in the backyard. <laughs> During h and &E Gypsum times, and my subscribers, they came through. That was the Orlando we premiere. We sold over 70% of our inventory that first day. That's when I realized this was gonna be big. And I started getting booked for shows. They wanted me to make appearances. That was Russia, YouTube that was took Romania. us from a local barbershop to a global brand in just over five years. Between 245 and Headlines Barbershops, we've been able to employ well over 100 people. Dog, Looking back at all of the hurdles that I had to go through, me and my family with the recession, I would have never thought that I'd be able to overcome and help my family and help my community and help so many people through YouTube and through barbering. But barbershops are home for second chances. Everyone has an opportunity to be successful and to be a pillar in their community. Hey, hey, with the YouTube logo, man, I, I think they did a, a, a really good job. Obviously, there's there's a lot of like details in between, but they did a good job condensing it. Let's look at the comments. Look at my dog Fonz. This was freaking dope. Love you, love you, dog for real. Fonz called me, man. We was just talking about it, bro. Like, he was in the video. Been there since before I was even a barber, guys. So, he's seen the journey. So he called me. He was, he loved it. He loved every every second of it. Look at the love. That's my teacher. Hey. This story is so inspiring. Thank you. That's dope. dope. A lot of love. A lot of, lot of love, for sure. Man, the comments are uh, showing love. Thanks for sharing. Great info. So there's a second video, and I'm going to show it to you guys. This is on the YouTube Creators channel. So they have two channels, YouTube and then YouTube Creators. YouTube is, I think, their biggest channel, 31 million subs. YouTube Creators has 3.5 million. I actually subscribed to YouTube Creators when they had like 100,000 because the information was really, really good. And look, 
There I am right there. My job is YouTube, Barbara Chris Basio. So this one was an actual interview. It's like 12 minutes long, almost 13 minutes long. I'm not gonna react to this one. I want you guys to go watch it. You know what I mean? Like, in order to charge it, you had to plug a cord in it. So everybody still had a bunch of cords. So this is really cool. Um, this one has 17,000 views already. Um, this one's really cool because I just feel like we got to sit down and I got to explain more of it. And there was a lot that even though they helped make this documentary that he didn't know, like there was a part where I told him we have 45 different products. And he was like, oh damn, I thought it was just a shave gel. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think even some of the team at YouTube understood how big we, we've we grown and how major this is, you know, like with barbering, how big barbering is, how it's a global thing. They don't really understand the shows and stuff. So this was giving a little bit of light to how amazing the industry is let's look at these comments fonzo look started from nothing to changing lives of many love you bro my dog showing love this one wow awesome five videos per week it's actually seven now my job is youtube so it's a, i agree such a great name for a series look the people are getting my job is youtube i'm a barber it's awesome that this is possible i agree man look, look at josh x barber what up josh i think it's it's dope to share these stories and inspire people that you know, if you got a passion for something, man, there's a way to monetize it. There's a way to make a living doing something that you love to do. You know what I mean? So, like, honestly, the comment sections from people that don't know me, I think is, is pretty awesome. People showing love with this one. Um, that's so amazing. The internet makes anything possible. Congratulations to the viral barber. It's dope. It's such an amazing story. Well done. It's so cool, man. So cool. So, like, I'm humbled by it. It was a great experience working with YouTube. Hopefully, YouTube put me in the recommended list. More recommended list. <laughs> <laughs> help the channel grow but yeah this is definitely an amazing experience something that you know my kids get to tell their friends you know what i mean like it's it's something to look back on it's definitely an accomplishment i'm, I'm proud of it and i hope the, the industry's proud of it too man and let's keep showing people how great this profession is but with that being said guys go check out the videos man go like them you know what i mean share them with the barber community i'm gonna put the link to both of these videos the actual short documentary and the interview. I'll put both of those links in the description below. Go check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Could we drop daily content on this channel?